Yo, what's up guys, Tavares Media here back with another video and today guys, I'm going to be talking about which bot provider should you be using, BotPress or VoiceFlow, we're going to be going in that video and guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all the growth, I mean, the, the, the proof is in the numbers like 463 subscribers and we've only been doing YouTube for a month and the channel is just blowing up and you know what's funny, it's like I'm not even getting that much views like you know i'm just getting a lot of engagement because i'm providing value and people are you know finding value in my videos and um you know a lot of people have been pointing out the 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 low quality of my videos which you know it's i i i, I have to fix that and you know um i got a i got i bought a new uh camera so when i do my IRL videos it's gonna be way much better i'm gonna be doing cold calling videos now since i have the camera um i gotta fix my microphone because a lot of people say that it's really quiet the reason why is because when I look, turn around, I always get away from the microphone, so then it gets quiet. So I'm sorry about that, guys. And yeah, just, you know, thank you guys so much for all the support and growth. And like, lots of people have been hitting me up, been making great conversations and relationships. And um, yeah, guys, if you guys have any questions, you know, leave in the comment section below. I'm here to help you guys. And I want to help you guys grow your agency and also your knowledge on this entire space. So yeah, we're just going to get straight into it. And you know, I'm going to love talking about this video because, you know, we all know bot press with its you know incompetency so yeah we're gonna be talking about what bot pro but what bot provider should you guys settle on you know this is such a key factor and component when building bots out for clients you know what is sustainable provider you know is this provider buggy is it crashing does it have proper customer support is the pricing make sense like there's so many variables that go into a provider and I do see a lot of like actual people starting to move forward voice flow rather than bot press and even myself I do use voice flow as well rather than bot press um, the only thing that I can say about bot press is that you have more capability in terms of functionality so you can do execute code eight so you can like pretty much you know make custom codes which I'm pretty sure you can do on voice flow but yeah, we're gonna be talking about that in today's video and just comparison, you know, doing comparisons of the features, the pricing, and also like the bot, c the compal compatibility, you know? And um, yeah, let's hop straight into this video, guys. First thing I wanna start off is with the pricing. Of course, is obviously the most, you know, one of the most important factors. And bot press has a pay to go feature, so you should be good on um, bot press in terms of pricing. Like, you can get, for $1,000 a month, you can get like 200,000 messages so that's not bad you know i think that's fine for a thousand dollars a month um getting two hundred thousand messages a month i don't think you should be getting that much unless you're signing enterprise clients so yeah you can be expecting to pay around 300 to a thousand dollars a month in terms on bot press which is you know not bad because if you have three clients on a two thousand dollar month retainer then the profits make sense obviously and also you can even have the, your clients pay the tech stack fees including bot press fees like as uh, bot cost fees as in like it's an smma agency you know an smma or social media marketing agencies they charge they make the clients pay for the the ad spend while they you know do the services so yeah the the term the terms of pricing is not that bad it's not anything crazy what i do think is expensive is stack ai just because of the limited features you can get, Stack AI is more of like uh, solely generative technology. You can't truly build the bot, so I don't know why they're charging a thousand dollars a month for that. It's, it's, it should be like hundred, two hundred dollars a month at most. Now, if we go to Voice Flow, the pricing is only forty dollars a month, and you actually get a good amount of tokens for forty dollars a month. For forty dollars a month, you can get like I think like a million tokens. Um, let me see. Yep, a million tokens with forty dollars a month. And now if you're starting to sign on bigger clients that are doing more volume, then of course you guys can always contact the team and even request more tokens. So that's even available. So yeah, a voice flow does obviously one of that. I mean, $40 a month, that's like nothing. That's barely a gym membership. And yeah, now let's go ahead and hop into the functionality and being able to create bots in a sustainable and competent manner. And I'm obviously gonna give voice flow the win on that right out the bat, right out the gate. Bot press is super buggy, and if you guys see my videos, you can literally see bot press just being faulty in my videos. Not saving prompts that I literally saved and clicked and saved. You know, not being able to do simple tasks in a you know uh, sufficient manner. And also, I've literally had times where I'm literally trying to record and it just logs me out. Like I just get signed out, 
And yeah, a lot of, I see a lot of people as well talk about how bot press is crashing and stuff. I've even talked to the CEO as well. He said that it's just a lot of volume on it. Let's be honest, bot press is not good in terms of sustainability within, you know, um, like being a platform, you know, not being buggy and not logging me out and not shutting down and not being laggy and slow and not making errors that are not even actual errors. So bot press does obviously not win in that. It's really bad when it comes to that. And let's just get also straight to actually building the bots because at the end of the day, sometimes you can do a workaround. So I'm just gonna do an answer from documents and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do uh, some just random PDF that I have. All right, we're just gonna use my AI agency PDF as a knowledge base and we'll just click confirm. And also, another thing with BotPress, it is extremely slow once you actually um, once you onboard the bot onto a website, I've tested it. It is super slow. It barely, it responds in like, you know, a minute. It takes like a minute to respond, which is crazy. Like imagine your client just sitting there for an entire minute waiting for a response from an AI chat bot it's supposed to respond quick. So yeah, bot press is really bad on that. Um, but besides building bots, I, I, I feel like bot press is very non-linear a uh, very linear excuse me and it doesn't have that much you know uh, features and stuff besides like you know get execute code which is pretty good and besides that i don't know it's just it's they the developers they really need to up their game up you know this this is just a bot building platform but you have to be able to have that thesis of being able to implement this into the real world I'm not just trying to build a chat bot so I can just build a chat bot. I want to build a chat bot so I can provide it to people and you know actually put it into production. And the funny thing is when you go ahead and you click publish, right? Let's see when you want to publish your bot on chat bot uh, on bot press. Let's see what happens, right? Click share chat bot. This is, you have your link right there. Let's see the integration options for your chat bot. Now I have my own provider and my integration options are over 30 plus channels. We do what's called omni-channeling. Voiceflow does have a couple channels as well, which is good. That's why I like Voiceflow. And guys, I am recommending to use Voiceflow 100%. Um, BotPress doesn't even have free templates as well. Vo Voiceflow does have free templates. So you guys can literally just start off with a whole bunch of free templates, reverse engineer them and learn from them. I'll show you guys right now. If you go here, boom, you have all these templates right here. You can learn reverse engineer and understand how they work and bot press doesn't have that so again i'm trying to figure out how i can actually even onboard this uh, um, i want to see the integration options but i already know the integration options are limited it's literally just web chat so so let's go and look at the integration options and these are the integration options we have web chat let's see if there's any more integrations we can get we got whatsapp Okay, we got Telegram. We, okay, so we have the basic, we have the good integrations, which is good, but how smooth is that integration? Because with voice flow, the integrations, say like for like WhatsApp, it is amazing. You wanna know why? I'll show you why. This is why I like voice flow so much better than BotPress, guys. This is why. When you wanna integrate into say WhatsApp, and let me just create a WhatsApp channel. So I'll just create like a WhatsApp quick chat bot. Just name it WhatsApp. Click continue. Oh, excuse me. WhatsApp test. Click continue. Select channel. WhatsApp English. That's another thing. You also have language linguistics options, so you can actually choose what language you want to speak in, which is very important if you want to serve international clients. So create assistant, and then let's just use this as a basic chat bot. We don't have to do anything crazy. And I want to show you something that's cool. When you guys go and click publish. And you say connect to WhatsApp. I've already done this. What you can do is you can test on WhatsApp. So it'll send you a link, a temporary link to your phone number where you can test the chat bot on like a private little test, which is amazing. Now with BotPress, you have to up you have to actually integrate it into a, a WhatsApp business account first, which is a long process because you have to go through Facebook and a Facebook ads man Facebook business manager and a whole bunch of stuff. With this, you can just instantly test it and get feedback and see how the bot performs on WhatsApp, which is really important for me, right? So I do give voice flow on that. And let's just get back to the functionality and just the building of the bots. You know, I I honestly, I'm gonna have to give it again, like I've said it, 
to voice flow voice flow has a bunch of templates you guys can use and start with it's just super easy to build like it is it has everything we need but in a simple format so you have ai response ai you have talks so that's like generative prompting you have text image listen choice capture logic all the logic nodes and then you have the api calls and javascript custom function scripts and also i just love the fact that you know how simple it is and just how straightforward to the point it is and i also really have to give them the, the knowledge base capability which is really important you know bot press's knowledge capability isn't the best it's just not really the best in terms of citing information right so let's just go to our knowledge base and let's just go ahead and see what we can do here so here's where it's getting annoying so like let's compare the knowledge base we go to voice flow and then we go to knowledge base i'm just going to add my knowledge base so add data source pdf right just add this knowledge base now let me show you something when you add your knowledge base you have the settings you can change which um you can change which uh llm you want to use and they also have claude which claude is literally the best in terms of listening to instructions and you can change what you want you can also change the prompting so you can have it do specific things you can give it a personality in terms of sourcing knowledge right so watch this i'll say your name is uh data whiz or i'll just say whiz you refer to yourself as whiz you can do the same thing on bot press but it just turn it all determines on which is smoother right because you can do it on bot press but then once you actually integrate into whatsapp and maybe your web it's just slow and it's choppy and it takes long to respond with voice flow it's actually quick and i'm going to show you guys you refer to yourself as whiz you will help clients get information on ai now i'm going to click save and i'm going to go ahead and just go and talk to it and i'm going to say test on voice flow make sure it's trained let's go ahead and do that just train it for and that's also another thing you also have nlu training capability so you can train the natural language understanding you can train the natural language processing units and actually get in depth intent in terms of you know training the conversational capability what is your name let's see if it works i didn't again it's just a basic bot shouldn't oh wait sorry my bad i have to do knowledge base <laughs> all right um we're in test what is your name let's see if it works and it should create a knowledge base and boom there it goes we specialize in creating custom built chatbot solutions and again you have to add the name inside the knowledge base since it is querying it um from the knowledge base if you don't have the name the knowledge base doesn't know what it is even if it has the prompt you can say you refer to yourself as whiz and yeah guys like it's just you know i i i really believe that voice flow is a better option now you can use bot press if you really want to and you really have to it's just you i think if I, if I were you if i were to use bot press i would 100 percent get in touch with um the the support team and have like private customer support so if anything happens like any bugs and stuff and there it goes hi there i'm whiz and you guys can easily call them up and you will get everything solved with because listen bot press is you do not want your bots like shutting down or just being buggy and then your clients being really angry and wanting to even potentially get refunds and giving you bad service reviews so that's an important thing to take into account and that's really it guys you know i think that you guys should check out voice flow it's super simple to build they have an entire course where you guys can watch on bot press and have a course besides like the basic videos on youtube and then the documentation which is still not even fully done so you guys can check it out right here start course they have all the videos on youtube and they also have a documentation i'm not sponsored affiliated by them but yeah that's just my greatest opinion i want to provide you guys the best information and the best you know providers you guys can actually provide to your clients and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video let's keep on with the growing and yeah guys I, I really am appreciative of all the growth and support and i hope you guys enjoy the video leave a like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more guys because we're all going to kill in this space and i'll see you guys later peace out